Uh, today we're going to go through how to prepare and cook artichokes. Um, so artichokes are really amazing, we've got these delicious ones here, but they're often overlooked because people don't know quite how to cook with them. Um, so I'm going to show you how easy it is. So the thing about an artichoke is that there's two different things you can eat. There's the middle heart, um, which is really delicious, and there's also the outer leaves. So I'm going to show you how to prepare both. So we're going to start with the artichoke by pulling the tough leaves from the outside. These don't have any meat on them and you can tell if you look right at the end they're kind of dry and there's no kind of flesh so you just want to get those outer leaves off and then now I've done that I'm getting into the middle section I can discard these leaves because they're a bit too hard get into the inner section and these have got a lot more meat on them at the end and we're going to do these you can use them kind of like nachos so you boil the leaves up in some water um, so that they're tender then you can use them to dip into your favorite sauce so we're going to keep those to one side be careful because they're quite sharp these are actually the ends are really sharp when they're not cooked Now I've taken up an extra layer, we're left with this. And it's already been de a little bit, but we want to take the rest of the stalk off. Um, so I've taken about a centimeter, and then I'm gonna carefully, with a paring knife, start to remove the hard outer bit. One thing to remember as well is that when you're before you cook them, you need to keep them from going brown. So keep them, so it's got water here, with a little bit of lemon juice in it, just for them to keep their color. So you wanna start, keep going around, and just taking off the hard outside bit and the ends of the leaves. So once you've got that, you've still got some of the, because you can actually cook the stalk and the stalk's delicious. It's just the end of the stalk that it will become tender. You then want to cut about a third off the end of the tips. These hard tips we're going to discard. So we're going to cut So now we're going to remove these hard outside leaves and you can see now in the middle is the choke and it's a really fibrous kind of like heart that you want to remove from the artichoke. So, probably easy to use a spoon for this. Just get a spoon and I'm digging in. And then all this kind of like thin fiber will come out like this. These parts aren't edible and they kind of go to nothing if you cook them, so you just want to remove the middle bit. Until you've got this lovely artichoke here. All of this then could be cooked. Um, you just want to make sure that the outside leaves are nice and soft, which they are. Um, and we're going to cook this straight away, but if you didn't want to um, cook it straight away, just keep it in lemon juice um, and cold water to stop it from going brown. So now I've got this pan here of boiling water with some red wine vinegar. And I'm gonna pop that in there. And I'm just gonna cook these for about eight to 10 minutes um, until the artichoke is nice and soft in the inside. So you could be able to cut it easily with a knife and it'll still retain some of its, um, some of its kind of texture. Um, and I'm not gonna go through this because it's boring, it's just watching artichokes boil. So I'm gonna show you what we'll end up with. So these are some I made earlier, uh, and these artichokes I have cooked until uh, for about eight minutes until they're nice and soft. Um, and because there's some red wine vinegar in the mixture, um, it's actually started to kind of pickle them as well. Um, that means they'll last longer, which is really good. So what you want to do is, once they cool down in the liquid, you want to remove them from the liquid, cut them into slices or cut them into quarters. And then what I've done here is I've just sprinkled a little bit of salt 
and I put a little bit of lemon juice and um, some olive oil. So that is now delicious, just to eat on its own as like antipasti, or you can use it in cooking. So you can have it on pizzas, with flatbread, you can put it in gratin, in um, pasta bakes. So there's loads of different options. Or if you don't want to cook with them straight away, simply put them in a um, jar that you've actually, um, you put boiling water into to remove any bacteria. So a sterilized jar pack them into the jar and then cover them with olive oil. And those then in the fridge will keep for a month, maybe two months, um, and you can enjoy them for um, ages to come. And so for these leaves here, what we wanna do is, in the same way that we do with the actual heart, we want to boil them, but not for so long, maybe five minutes, until these little outside pieces here are nice and tender. That will be amazing then if you dip that into an aioli, you want to dip it into a few favourite sauce um, as a little snack before you actually have your artichoke hearts as the main. Um, so I hope you enjoy guys um, the recipe and all the instructions are going to be on the Alicia blog um, and if you've got any questions please let us know in the comments. Thank you.